Good morning. I'll do a quick check-in, I guess. Um, so I uh, had a nice little workout just just now. <clears throat> um, still had a lot on my mind. I I slept a little bit more after I uh, did my my 3 a.m. check-in. Um, it's 9:40 a.m. right now. And uh, yeah, either the devil or the Holy Spirit or whatever the the entity is, um, was definitely trying to like help me out, I guess you can say. Um, I'm about to sneeze. Maybe it's me lying, I guess. Well, it happens, it happens. So, uh, yeah, so I've been trying to like wrestle, like, how do I, how do I reconcile this, this, this whole dilemma with my mother? Because I still like I, I feel like I still hold uh, unforgiveness for her, whether it's rightly or unrightly due. That's besides the point. <clears throat> I believe that when you hold unforgiveness for anyone, it leaves the door open for the for the enemy to to, to walk right in. And I'm on a quest right now to basically shut all those doors, um, starting with addiction, sexual immorality, lifestyle choices, um, leading up to. Uh, um, giving up all my friends there, they just weren't healthy for me. So I just had to close those doors as well, which I think I've, uh, I think I've grieved that loss over the past week and a half or so. Haven't had any like really disturbing dreams in in terms of their energy. Um, but I'm still getting these lingering dreams. So I, so I tried to just reinvestigate what's going on with my head. Um, you know, why am I, why am I allowing these demons to come in? And I just kind of boiled it down to as much as I tell myself that I, that I, that I forgive my mom or that I can turn the cheek, there's still just a lingering pain that just is like unsettled. And, uh, I, I had a really good discussion with my pastor, uh, yesterday during our little Bible study. It was more of a, just like a, just a, just a one-on-one -on -one father and son kind of talk because I don't have a father, sadly. He's out doing whatever the heck he wants to do, and I don't care. And it's not my business. You know, he's already hurt me enough, so I don't need to bring him back into my life. It is what it is. And uh, but yeah, we had we had a, we had a great discussion, and uh, the main the uh, the main topic was boundaries. And his point of view was you got to have boundaries, basically with everyone. If you're a parent, you got to have boundaries with your own parents. You got to have boundaries with your own children, siblings, everyone, like not having boundaries is just opening your, uh, yourself up for, for, for heartache, for, for attacks, for anything, for any kind of negative, uh, feedback, I guess. So I'm kind of wrestling with the idea of just, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> keeping like a hundred percent boundaries with my mother, just try to avoid her at all possible. And um, if I have my math correct, correct, in about two months, I should be credit card free, debt free, I mean. And then um, maybe a subsequent month, I'll have enough, all, all a few thousand dollars saved up. So hopefully by uh, by June, when the VA releases me from their care, um, I'll be free to go my own way, whether it's stay here in South Florida, which I don't know. I'm, if If I can find a good church, then I can justify uh, the extra cost of living, you know. I don't necessarily want to move, move, but I miss the South. I miss living in areas where, where it's a Bible Belt, you know, country, where people actually believe in Jesus gladly and with, and with pride. Not not here where you have to, like, just almost feel ashamed to be, uh, to be a Christian. It's sad. But it's just a, it's just a very godless, impatient, fast-paced kind of culture that, Everyone just cares about themselves, and that's just that's just the energy here, you know. Some places are like that, some places aren't. I've been blessed to live in areas that are that are more Bible friendly and genuine by nature. That's that's what my heart needs, you know. And uh, in terms of my mother, like we probably operate best just away from each other. Just living here in the lion's den, it's it's just tiring, you know. I'm like a lamb, and she's a dragon. So explain to me how that's compatible. Um, 
She's just calculated, manipulative, passive aggressive, and just always has like a snide remark ready to go. Like there's not a lot of empathy from her I, that I can see. Um, I'm sure she uh, has other words to describe herself, but that's the nature of the beast. If anyone can relate, then you know what I'm talking about. You know, it's it's a shame, but um, I no longer let her try to really get un get under my skin. Like whenever I, I I try to like her, then she'll just she'll just come back and sting me with that stinger. It's just like it's like the phrase with the with the with the scorpion and the and the frog, where the scorpion asks the frog, "Hey, it's raining. Uh, I need to get across the river or the stream." And the frog's like, "You're gonna sting me and kill me." The scorpion's like, "No, no, I won't. I promise." So then halfway through the uh, little swimming across the pond, the scorpion just can't help itself, but stings the frog, kills the frog, kills itself. And, 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 but it's just the nature of the beast. Um, I wish she can find a way to sell, find her way to salvation, but I can't dunk her head in the water, make her drink the water. I can't baptize her. I had no authority to, to save her soul or to change her ways. That's dependent upon her, and if she wants to make that choice, then by all means, you know, Lord, release the angels for her. But I don't see any real positive changes that she's made. I've been here for uh, da, 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 four months, maybe, give or take. And it's just even recently, I just got another wave of her passive aggressive just energy. And I can't stand being around that kind of personality type. I lived, I lived through that enough of my life. I don't need to be around it any longer. So um, this video is going to start la lasting longer than I want to. But yeah, so that's where I'm at right now. I'm feeling confident that I can forgive her and just set heavy boundaries and just avoid her as much as possible, whether it's be at school studying, driving Uber, Lyft, just staying, in, staying in the bedroom, just uh, listening to gospel music or something, reading my Bible. There's 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 plenty of there's plenty of avenues for me. And there's there's enough spiritual avenues that I can attend to just be out of the house, be out of this environment. Um, I do have I do now have more obligations now that she has a puppy. For what reason I don't know. I don't know. If that's like her feeble attempt to try to get me to get closer to her. I don't know. You never know with these kind of people. Um, or she just has an an, an emotional void and she needs a puppy to fill it rather than filling it herself. But you know, I'm not her psychiatrist, nor her pastor. Just her only son that has to love her in some way, or honor her at least, so I can make it to heaven. Right, God? So, I'll keep doing my best, but I think I, I think my best course of action, unless you guys, my beloved three members, my loyal three, unless you loyal three can offer me some suggestions of, uh, other than full 100% uh, boundaries with their I'm happy to hear any suggestions but for right now that's what makes the most sense and um, one last thing I just went to Walmart and got some supplements so what did I get I got a big jumbo jumbo batch of melatonin that I'll be handfuling down my throat every night until I can start sleeping better and I got these guys too Ollie Sleep. It's got uh, melatonin, L theanine, chamomile extract, passion flower extract, and lemon balm extract. So, hopefully, this chemical cocktail of natural ingredients can knock me out and help me get at least four hours of sleep. That's what I'm asking the Lord for, at least for the first week. Just four hours, you know, enough to get me through the day. But uh, on that note, guys, have a blessed day if you do watch this video whenever. And thank you, uh, Trinity, for uh, joining me on this three-day fast. I, I really appreciate it. So thank you. Everyone, uh, stay blessed. Be strong. I'm going to be my. I'm going to be my strongest. Toodles.